Hello po at isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. September 28 na po, uh, 2022, Wednesday at 88 days na lang Pasko na. Mabuhay po kayo at welcome po sa The Stock Market Today. Ang ating uh, balitang isashare sa inyo ay tungkol sa globe. Pero bago ang lahat, Ako po si Benji Chodoro, isang retired bank officer na nag-start mag-invest sa Philippine stock market ng 2007. Binibigay ko po ang uh, pinaka-latest news tungkol sa inyong paborito at pinaka-aktibong stock sa Philippine market. At kung gusto nyo po ng content, niimbitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa aking channel. Kung meron po kayong tanong tungkol sa stock market o mga stocks na gusto ipa-review, paki-comment lang po sa comment box at aking ipa-prioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Anything I say in this channel ay hindi po financial advice. Get well soon to my cousin Mari. Again, may awang Diyos for praying for your quick recovery. And to Tito Sam, we're also praying for you. Huwag kayong alis dahil babahagi ko sa inyo ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, September 28, 2022. Dito lamang sa The Stock Market today. Okay po, ang ating financial news headlines rather ay galing po sa BDO Securities. World Bank upgrades Philippine growth outlook. Government rejects bids for 91-day, 364-day treasury bills. At uh, nandito po yung 91-day tenor ay nasa 4.4% na po, no? And the secondary market is 2.78. Ang ibig pong sabihin ng secondary market, yan po yung mga inventaryo ng mga banko. Meron po silang biniling treasury bills. Binibenta po nila yan sa mga kliyente nila. Pero yung primary market, yan po yung nanggaling sa mga bids. So nag, um, bumibili po yung mga kliyente at nagre-request po sila. At uh, yan po, walang, uh, walang commissions po yan. Or kung meron man, ay maliit lang. Glow sells 1,350 towers for 20 billion. Ito po ang ating main news. AEV exits Sri Lanka sells 12 billion pesos in bonds. Seb to use sustainable aviation fuel from Shell. Pero ang ating main news ay galing po sa Globe, ano? Globe sells 1,350 towers to fill tower for 20 billion. Globe Telecom announced on Tuesday that it recently signed a sale and leaseback deal with the Philippine Tower Consortium for the telcos for 1,350 towers. Globe expects to raise total proceeds of 20 billion from executing this transaction, the company told the stock exchange. The tower assets, which are located primarily in Visayas and Mindanao, consist of 90% ground-based towers and 10% rooftop towers. The towers will be leased back to the telco for an initial period of 15 years. So, ang ginawa po nila, binenta po nila, binenta po nila kay Phil Tower Consortium and ang ginawa ni Globe, nagre-renta na lang po sila. Okay? Uh, the first close of this portfolio is targeted to occur by the end of 2022 with subsequent closings happening as and when closing conditions are met, Globe said. The company estimates a pre-tax transaction gain of 5.2 billion. So nagre-rent na lang sila ng towers, they don't own it. Kasi siguro yung pagtatayo nun at uh, pag-o-own ng towers, Meron pong maintenance cost yan eh. So, pinaubayan na lang po nila doon sa service provider, si Phil Tower, na doon nila binenta na mag-maintain. In the meantime, they will be renting it. The sale to Phil Tower brings the Ayala-led Telco total towers sold from 5,709 towers to 7,059 with expected total proceeds of 91 billion. This will be used to finance capital expenditures and maturing debts according to the company. 
Ernest L. Kuglo, President and CEO, said this monetization efforts is expected to provide an uplift to the company's overall value. So, yan po ang ating main news today. At, tignan natin kung meron po kayong mga request. Ano? Okay, sabi ni Raquel Robrigado, di po maapektuhan ang investment pag long term. Bakit sir? Di po ako, hindi po ako nagpasalamat kapon. Thank you po. Okay, siguro ang sinasabi mo, kung long term, hindi maapektuhan ang stock, maapektuhan po. Maapektuhan po yan. Pero kung ang horizon po nyo ay long term, up and down, up and down, very volatile po ang stocks. Eh. Up and down, up and down. Pero kung 3 years pa ang tinitignan nyo, ay more or less, yung presyo nyo ngayon, in 3 years time, ay mas mataas kesa sa presyo ngayon. Yan po yung sinasabi ko. Eh, syempre, bababa yan. Bababa below your, your buying price, di ba? Pero hindi lang naman short term ang tingin mo. Tingin mo is 3, 5 years, 10 years down the road. Tingin mo, tataas ba yan o bababa? Tingin ko, tataas yan. Kasi mahusay na kumpanya. Kumikita. Nagbibigay ng dividendo. Mahusay ang management. Di po ba? Ganun po yun. Kasi kung tinitingnan mo na Ay, nako, ang sinabi ni Sir Benji, lagi lang taas, hindi po ganun sinasabi ko. Bababa po yan. Tataas, bababa, volatile and stocks. Eh. Pero, kung yung presyo ngayon, i-compare mo 5 years later, 3 years later, yun pa ba yung presyo? Binili mo ngayon, for example, ng 200 pesos. Example lang po. Iniwanan mo yan for 3 years. Tingin mo, 200 pesos pa rin yan after 3 years? Tingin ko, hindi. Tingin ko, magiging 300, 400. Yun, ko po, yun po yung sinasabi ko. Kailangan yung view nyo ay long term. Kasi long term investor ko yun. Ngayon, kung tumitingin lang po kayo ng short term, eh, wag po kayong tumingin sa stocks, no? Or pwede po kayong tumingin, pero itatrade nyo lang for a short term. Yun po ang ibig kong sabihin. Kaya, it doesn't really matter kung anong presyo actually, kung bibili nyo ngayon. Of course, advantage kung mababa nyo nabili. Pero sabi nyo nga, pataas pa ba, pataas pa ba, akala nyo support level na po yun, yung pala meron pa palang isang bagsak, di ba? So, pagka-index tax, ni po kayo dapat matakot dyan. Yun po. Ang ibig kong sabihin sa long term view, di ba? Okay. Sabi ni Aaron Janok Chineho, Hello sir, Benji. I'm watching po dito po ako sa Hong Kong. Nood ako sa discuss about market po sir sa inyo. Tanong ko lang po, long term investment din po ako. Nagbawas of po ako ng pera. Ba ang pera sa investment ko parang gusto ko ng cancel kasi 530k ko naging 373 na lang natira. Ang tanong ko dito is, anong klaseng investment to? Ito ba ay unit investment trust fund? O bumili ka ng isang stock? Anong stock yan? Kung, kung UITF po yan, basket of investments po yan or baskets of stocks. No? So, anong klase po yan? Ngayon, tingin ko dito, stocks ang binili ninyo eh. So, so I'm just thinking out loud ha. Hindi ko po alam kung anong binili nyo dahil hindi nyo naman po sinabi dito. Talaga po ganun, no? Ngayon, depende po kung ano yung underlying asset dun sa, dun sa binili nyo ng uh, UITF. I suppose UITF po ito. Or stocks, ano? Pero 530 to 343, hmm, baka PSE ang binili nyo dito. Ganun, kailan nyo binili? Ganun nyo na katagal hawak-hawak ito. Bakit naging 530? From 530, naging 343? Or ilang percent yun? Oh, 35% down? Hmm, anong stock kaya yon O anong investment kaya yon Parang ang laki ah. Ang laki ng bagsak ah. Kasi kung index stock po ang binili ninyo, example lang, index stock po ang binili ninyo, at bumili po kayo dito, uh, example lang ah, bumili po kayo dito, Ano ba yung pinakamataas? Dito. 
Okay, so 9050. Example lang, no? 9050. Tapos, ano ba yung presyo ngayon? Example lang po ito, no? Kasi nung bum kung bumili po kayo ng January 18 ng halimbawa, uh, yung underlying asset is a P PSE index stocks. Example lang po ito, no? Ang presyo po niya nasa, nasa 9,000 po yung index at the time, no? Pero ngayon ay nasa, well, as we speak, no, 5,944. 33% or 34%. So, I suppose yun, di ba? Yung index stock. So, possibly po na, na ganun po ang nangyari sa, sa inyo, no? Pero kung long-term investor po kayo, hindi mananatili sa 5,900 yun, eh. Tataas uli yan. <laughs> o kaya, it's time to buy, di ba? Kung inaakala nyo na support level na po ito. Yan po. Talaga pong ganun. Mag, uh, meron talagang panganib na bumaba yung stock market. And expect, you expect that. Ano? So, ito, how many, gano'ng katagal ito? From 2018 to September 2022, nag ng 30%. 2018, 1931, 4 years. Okay? Ngayon, kung naniniwala po kayo sa mga index stocks, ito ay temporary lamang. No? Maaring ito ay temporary lamang at tataas po uli yan. So eventually, no? kasi one, what comes down goes up again. Eh? Or what goes up comes down and what comes down goes up. Diba? So yun po. Yun po ang aking view dyan. Ngayon, kung... Uh, matatakot po kayo sa mga sa stock market, eh, mag-fixed income po kayo. Talawang po ganun. Meron talagang risk no, ang stock market na hindi po sa lahat ng panahon ay panalo kayo. May panahon po natalo kayo. Yun po. So, let's now go. Uh, let's now check on what happened to the index today. Okay. Naku, anong nangyari sa ating index? Bumagsak ulit, no? Nasa 58.79.68 140.39 points down 2.33% po yan, no? So patuloy po siyang bumabagsak And oversold na po yung ating RSI dito, no? And this is the lar largest or the lowest drop since... Tignan natin, October 7, 2020 pa. No? So, patuloy po siyang bumabagsak. I think it's the, yung Fed rates at yung increase in rates ano, ng Philippine Central Bank. But uh, I just saw this earlier. No? Local stocks slumped nearly 4% on selling pressures. Actually, ito yung report nila yesterday. No? May I just read in part. Ano? Philippine shares declined further on Tuesday. Yesterday po yun. Dahil sa selling pressures amid Wall Street's decline and the aggressive stand of the U.S. Federal Reserve that pushed the peso lower. So, ito po, no? catering peso touches 59% or 59 peso level, sabi ng Phil Star. Anyway, meron siyang selling pressure dahil, sabi dito, selling pressure is strong across all markets due to the hawkish stance by the Fed to bring down the inflation rate to 2%, said Mercantile Security Score, her head trader, Jeff Radley CC, in a Viber message. Hawkish ang ibig pong sabihin ng hawkish, mataas. The hawk flies high, while the dove flies low. Kaya dovish yung mababa. Hawkish yung mataas. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin ito? Sabi niya, Mr. C explained that when the market falls at least 20% from their high of 7552 in February, it is marked as a bear territory which happened to the U.S. market last week. So, nasan na ba ang ating index ngayon? Nasa 5879.68. So, if we will have February 9, for example, yung closing price po niya is 
or 7502. Uy, 21.6%. So, nasa bear territory na po tayo. So, drop po niya is 21 or almost 22%. So, yun po ang sabi ng analyst, ano? Nasa bear territory na po tayo. Wall Street slipped to bear market on Monday with the SMS. P500 and Dow closing lower as investors fretted that the U.S. Federal Reserve's aggressive campaign against inflation would throw the U.S. economy into a sharp downturn. So, baka recession. Baka po recession. Huh? Mr. Aviar said that at home, investors digested the impact of super type and carding as well as the further weakening of the peso. Okay, so may panganib po ng recession po tayo dito. And I think I, I saw another news here eh, that there might be uh, another off-market ano, or off-cycle interest rate hike by the BSP. So yun po ang sabi ng analyst. Anyway, so hindi po magandang balita to sa ating stock market. Ano? Oversold na po yeah, since yesterday ang ating PSE index nasa 21.09 oversold level na po and the next support level let's do a one week chart next support level po nandito sa 57 level po yan 57 level yung next support level ni PSE index based di po dito sa one week chart so uh, sa ating market summary 156 companies declined, 39 unchanged, 49 ang umabante. So marami pong decliners. No? All share index bagsak din po, 2.12%. Lahat ng sectoral indices po natin ay down, led by mining 3.93%, followed by the holding companies at 3.20%. Tingnan man po natin ang most active stock. So i-analyze po natin yung top 6 let's do SM, Ali, ICT BDO, BPI and SCC so ang nag-gain lang po dito ay dalawa no? ICT na kapiraso lang 0.28% and BPI 1.63% BDO is support level 111 anyway uh, unahin po muna natin si SM no so, bear territory na po ito, no? Bagsak si SM. Oversold na po siya at 28.61. And hindi ko po makita yung support level. Let's do a one-week chart. Actually, ang previous support level po ni SM, nandito po eh. Ito po yung previous support niya. Nasa 784. Ngayon ay na-breach na po niya. Nasa 733, no? But the next support is actually here, sa 680 na. The last time it reached that uh, price, March 16, 2020. <laughs> pandemic. Simula po ng pandemic. So 675 po yung next support level ni SM. And balik po natin sa one day. And oversold na po siya, nasa 28.61. Tapos si Ali. So, nagbumura po yung mga stocks. No? Alam nyo po, um, the market will soon realize that uh, these stocks are selling at a bargain. No? Yung prices po niya. Bargain hunting po ang tawag dyan. Anyway, when it all settles down, again, si Ali, below support na siya. Ang support po niya ay... Okay, support level na po ito, si Ali, oversold, nasa 25 po yung RSI. And let's do, let's take a look at the next support level. Halos hindi ko makita eh. Below support po eh. Okay, this was the previous support level, ano? 24, or almost 25, pero nasa 23.05 po si Ali. Next support, nasa 22. 22.50 po, next support level, but... Actually, this is already support. And then, ICT. ICT naka-recover ba? Moving sideways. Actually, meron po siyang volume. 
above average volume, RSI po nasa 45, pero pababa pa rin po siya, no? slightly downwards with support here at 177. Pero pababa po siya, pababa po si Ali. And uh, bearish po yung kanyang movement. Although, hindi, uh, hindi siya not as affected as SM and Ali. So, ito, ito um, lumalaban pa po in terms of price. No? Then, BDO. BDO follows the index. Nasa 111.20. Ito, magandang presyo. Kasi, support level po si BDO. Eh. Yan, no? 111.20. Okay. Now, the next support level, nasa below 100 na siguro ito. Let's do one week. 108, ang next support level po niya. And actually, 111 to 108 is still support. Yeah. But uh, the RSI, nasa 33 po, and bearish po ang stand. So, lahat po, pababa. Tingnan natin si BPI. BPI is... Uy, meron bounce si BPI. Nag-bounce po siya. From a sharp downturn yesterday, no? 4.67% ang baba. Pero ngayon po, nakara-recover po siya. 1.63% up. Or 1 peso 45 centavos, ano? Now, tingnan mo natin yung SNR niya. Okay, it's um, near support actually. Because support nasa 88.45% and the lower support is at 84.40 yung higher resistance or lower resistance po ni BDO nasa 95 the next higher will be 98 to 99 so BPI po but if you take a look at fundamentals BPI target price po ni BPI is back at Philippine Islands 112 or about a hmm, shall we say 25% upside so finally, we have Semirara, SEC. Anong rating nito? SEC, Semirara, neutral po si BDO SEC with a target price of 44. So bumaba na po siya, no? So medium and short term is bearish already. But uh, it touched the long term indicator. Eh? So basically, it's been moving downwards. So, kung magda-draw po tayo ng parallel channel on a short term, ano? I think pababa siya seems ganyan po siya. Short parallel channel lang po, no? So, ang pinaka support, more or less po, no? Support na sa 39 and resistance at 41.50, no? So, very thin po. Very thin po, but it's bearish, turning bearish already. Yan po si SCC. Okay, yan po ang ating report sa stock market. Ikadalang po, walo ng Setyembre. Tapos Benji Chidoro nagpapaalala. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyo pagsabaybay at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe. God bless and bye for now.